Hi viewers, this is Doc Monte, and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, we looked at how you can actually calculate the value of an item after appreciation, after appreciating over a given period of time. Contrary to that, today we're going to look at uh, depreciation and uh, we, we, we're going to look at what it means when, a, when an item or an asset has its value depreciated they have to I'm going to show you how you can actually calculate its value after appreciation okay so without any further ado let's take a ride so now depreciation is simply the loss in value of an asset over a given period of time. A very good example that I can give of an item or an asset whose value depreciates is actually a car. If you bought a car today at let's say 50,000, 50,000 quite sure, or let's say 1,000 or 3,000 US dollars. That car will begin to work for you. You begin to use it. If let's say you bought a counter, you begin to use it. And as time goes by, you find that some of the spare parts will get worn out. The fact that you bought that counter at three thousand US dollars or fifty thousand quarter doesn't mean that you're gonna sell it at the same price. The fact that some of the spare parts will get worn out as time goes by, you find that you won't be able to sell it at the same price. So we say, if let's say you're going to use it for five years, five solid years, and then we say within a year it will be losing a value of let's say 250 quite Oh, we say it will be losing a value of 20 US dollars. By the end of a period of five years, you will find that when you do the calculation, let's say 20 times uh, 20 times 5, 20 US dollars, that will be 100 US dollars. So 100, we remove that 100 US dollars from 3,000 US dollars, you're going to have 2,900 2, US dollars. Now, <clears throat> these 2,900 US dollars will actually be the value of that asset after, you know, losing some certain value. And if we say it's losing 20 US dollars, it's, up, it's depreciating with 20 US dollars per year, we can actually find the percentage of this 20 US dollars. We can sell a 20 over the actual price at which it was bought, which is 3,000 US dollars times 100. And then we're gonna have 20 over 3,000 then it's 100. I'm going to say, okay, it's actually depreciating at the value of 0.667%. So this one here is actually the rate of depreciation. I think I've got me into teaching, but basically I just wanted to, you to have a clue of what depreciation is all about. Now let's look at this example that we have here. We are saying Chell bought a car at 40,000 quads. If it depreciated using a straight line method at 20% per year, calculate its value after three years. So now there are things that you need to know. So before you do anything, first of all, you have to write the data. Okay, so it's depreciating at a rate of 
So you're going to write 20% as the rate, and then the period within which depreciation has to take place is actually three years. So you're going to say N, so N denotes the period is equal to three years. And then we also need to take note of the initial value, that is the, the, the actual price at which an item is bought at the beginning of uh, the period. So that one is actually termed as P, the principal is equal to 40,000. The major question now is how do you calculate depreciation of the value of this car? after depreciation okay so we expect that value to be less than forty thousand because it will lose some value so there is a formula that we particularly use to calculate this we say the value of an item is equal to the initial value which is forty thousand multiplied by one minus the rate at which this asset is actually depreciating over 100 then raised to the power n. n is actually the period within which depreciation will take place. Now, with those things in place and the formula here, we can simply plug in the values. We say the value of the car will be initial value, which is 40,000, 1 minus the rate, which is 20, over 100, uh, raised to the power 3, which is the number of years. We can simplify what is on the inside of the brackets to say 40,000 there, then 0, 0, 2 there, 2 there, uh, that's 5. So we're going to have 1 minus 1 over 5 raised to the power 3. We have to simplify this, we write it as a single fraction. Introduce the 1 and write yeah, this, the lowest common multiple of the 1 and the 5 which are the denominators is a 5. So 1 into 5, 5 times 1, 5 minus. 5 into 5, 1 times 1, 1. Is that it? Oh, cool. Cool. Then this should be raised to the power 3. 40,000 on the outside. Then we have the value of an item. Okay, so we can actually resolve this. Say five minus one, that will give us, uh, so we say A is equal to 40,000. On the inside of the brackets, we are going to have four over five, raised to the power three. Then the value of an asset will be, we can actually change this one so that we have a decimal number on the inside of the brackets. 40,000, then 5 into 4, it can't be added to 0. 5 into 40, that's 8, raised to the power 3. So here, because of I don't have enough space, I can either, first of all, don't make a mistake of multiplying this number on the outside by what's on the inside, before you affect the exponential here. So you have to make sure that you expand this one first, so that will be 0 0.8 raised to the power 3. Uh, and I found 0 0.512. So this one will be 40,000 times 0 0.512. And then I find the final value. This multiplied by 40,000. Answer times 40,000. And here we go. I have 208. Two zero four rather two zero four eight zero. So from forty thousand after depreciation, the car will now cost twenty thousand four hundred eighty, and this is making sense in that after it has lost value, after it has actually depreciated. It won't cost as much as it had cost in the first place when it was a spot. So friends, that's how we calculate depreciation. If you like the video, make sure that you give it a thumb. And then 
you make sure that you turn on the notification bell and subscribe don't forget to share with others would love to be learning mathematics i'll be rolling out more videos within this coming week so make sure that you're in tune thank you so much leave a comment in the comment section